got ice in my veins Walk like a champion, champion, champion I'm so cold-blooded, I fear nobody Ain't no letting down, I won't let you down Cause I got ice in my veins I talk like a champion, like a champion I'm so cold-blooded, I'm so cold-blooded I fear nobody, I fear nobody I walk like a champion Alright y'all, and now for this week's episode of Anime Book Club In which we covered that time I got reincarnated as a slime, episodes 10 through 12. I think I got that right. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I say it every week, but um this this show is OD. Like I like honestly, this is becoming like one of my favorite like installments of ABC, but also it's like becoming like slowly one of my favorite like storylines in anime. So mm-hmm. shout out John, because it's a great uh recommendation. So I guess we could start with uh episode ten really. And um A lot happened in these three episodes, man. Yo, there was a it was a it was a lot of information. Like mm-hmm. for real, for real. And I mean we we learned more about the the ogres and stuff. Like after um, you know, we they got back took them took them back to the village and, and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And um basically um we found out that the orcs well, we found out in the last episode that the orcs was what ruined there and and like basically annihilated all of the rest of the the, the ogres and stuff. But um, you know, after a nice feast, Rimuru basically told them like, "Yo, like y'all could be my people, and you know, y'all could be my people for as long as y'all want. Mm-hmm. And you know, if y'all if y'all down with that, y'all could." And after they talked about it for a second, they was like, "All right, you know what? We gonna rock with it." But you know, after the um. After, after they defeated the, them. yeah, I'm about to say after they defeated the orcs, then it's like, all right, well, we might not be, we might not, whatever. Well, uh, we'll re- we'll renegotiate a contract. Yeah, basically, exactly. That's what they're gonna reach. Of course, you know, Rimuru being being the 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 kind slime that he Gosh, is. Shout out to Rimuru, bro. Bro, he be just he be doing a thing, bro. Like he gave all of them names, Something and they level leader though. Yeah, facts. He's he's tough. He's Wait, tough. can we real quick? This is the same dude that was just like a regular average a regular Joe in his regular in, in 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 Japan. Yeah, he just, I mean, he had good morals and he just watched like a lot of shit and watched a lot of anime, read a lot of manga, and played a lot of video games. Like realistically, this man should be running. He should be running, you know, civilizations. Nah, Rimu's Rim, mindset really be balanced, and he kind of yeah. just be he morals, he just be though. for everybody. That's a yeah. fact. Like That's he true. don't he don't got no beef with nobody. He's like, yo, if you kind to me, I'm kind kind back to you. Like my son had some good home training. He was raised yeah, properly. He definitely was, man. And you know, for for being a powerful slime, yo, he put that. You know, he know how to use his power. He not like a corrupt leader, nothing like that. Mm-hmm. He gave he gave all the ogres names, bro, off the strength. He also didn't know the magnitude of it till after. But yeah, <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, he didn't he didn't know. But that's a fact. My man went from a solid slime to a limpy slime, just giving them all the names, bro. Like you know, what I'm saying he did that mad times too. We got them from ogres to kaijin. That sounds fire though, like a kaijin. Where it does. Oh yeah, yeah. like that just said. Yeah, sure. that's crazy. And then uh, we get introduced to a new cat. Well, to to two new characters. The chieftain of the of the lizards. Li- that's the not lizard episode so nine. You, how you, you, that's how you an episode. Around, that's bro. bro that's episode an, ten. That's an so episode right. ten, bro. You don't get introduced yeah. to the chieftain in episode ten. Yes, I yes, do. bro. In the, in the end of the episode, John. Oh, they yeah. introduced the chieftain and his son. Yes, yeah. bro. Guys, yeah, it was at bro. the end of the episode when they saw when they um when basically he was like, ass. Whoa, 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 there, bro. You know he who you remind me of? You remind me of um shoot from uh I forgot. I yeah, give me a second. But yeah, basically yeah, we get to do what some show? Character. Um, uh, Dragon Ball Z. Um, oh, Hercule. Yes, yep. that's who you yep, remind yep, me yep, of. Yep, yep. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so yeah. Remind- Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Yeah, that's a fact. He's basically Hercule, and you'll see why in later episodes. I guess what y'all could kind of oh, go more in depth oh about it. But God. yeah, Gabru really, really was walking around like his shit don't stink, you know. But that was in like more episode eleven. But that's only because his people is hyping him up. He didn't even know he. Yo, like, my son, he want to do yeah, stuff at first. Yeah, not, he not was just like three people right. who talking <laughs> anything, bro. He's like, yeah, maybe I am cool. Like, bro, oh God, Gabru was like, man, I ain't really even trying to be chieftain, and his people was like, nah, bro, nah, you valid. <laughs> nah, you you could do this for real, for real. He's like, word, bro, you think? It's getting kind of old, bro. And you are the best swordsman in the whole land. Like, 
My word, I am. Spear. My son Gabo <laughs> uses a spear. All right, so I guess we're done with episode nine. Um, wait, wait, oh, I, oh, I, ain't get, I ain't get to talk about it. Yeah, yeah, two. definitely talk. Sorry, I keep saying nine. But yes, mm-hmm. 10. And also, um, the other thing about episode 10 is uh, we realized that the guy who it seems that um, led the orcs. I mean, is it the orcs? Yes. 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 Um, they're like, it seems that the same one who gave um, Rigard his his son uh his name lord uh uh chief in the I guess chief or whatever but an officer in the demon lord's ar- army lord gelmund gelmund yes so we have that interesting character to to hypothesize about um yeah we can you know, we, we talk about like how uh you know when they changed the kaijins everybody's appearance just kind of changed they kind of became like they look more, more human. human. Yeah, more human like, especially old dude, uh, the big ogre named uh, Karob. Uh, <laughs> yeah. My son was like, he looks like an average middle aged guy. He was like, yo, we're going to be great friends. <laughs> nah, I dead thought the way like everybody else transformed, I dead thought he was going to come out looking like Tista or something like that. Like just <laughs> mad yoked. Like kind of like how um, the, the, the goblin chief is. Yeah, but everyone, all of the costume <laughs> got smaller for the most part. Yeah. Nah, I mean, it, I mean, smaller for some <laughs> and others. Except for, except, for, except, for, except for my son, Shion, bro. She's busty. That's, Shion. A, that's, literally, that's literally how they described it as a busty. Nah, she, yeah. She, Shion's out here rocking the, rocking the triple Ds. Shuna was out here, went from a B cup to a solid C. Um, you that's know. a child, dog. Polycon. <laughs> Lolly, we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna skip past that. We can edit this out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you nasty. <laughs> uh, what else? What else? Oh yeah, the blue ogre. No, nah, all right, all right. See, uh, I don't know how to pronounce the name. Sway, Soy, Sui, 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 I don't know how to say. it I don't. I don't know. But um. No, when he was describing all of them, he was like, wow. He was like, a cute girl, a busty, a no, hot guy, a a another girl, hot, hot guy. guy. A total babe, <laughs> another hot guy. And then, oh, a seasoned gray. And then, a seasoned and then, like, Oh, my God. Average, like, He's you, Thank God. This man was relieved. <laughs> what's it called when, when in anime, when you're not a boy or a girl, you're just a, uh, what's it called? That's what's, what, what um, remember who is? Androgynous, androgynous. Yes, that's not anime. I, that's in life, dog. So I mean, well, so, I, well, I mean, no, no, because they said it in the show. Is why I'm asking. Yeah. And so yeah, so he's androgynous and shit. So that's why I like when he be like kind of like saying certain shit. You see it a little bit more like in the next episodes about uh Suye. All right, hold on, give me one second. I'm, I'll have the name right here for you. Suye. 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 Sue, Sue, kind of. Okay, with an accent. Yeah, yeah. Just the way that he be talking about Sue, like as a handsome man and stuff, and it get it gets like it gets worse. Like Bro, as you, a, you can't acknowledge when, when someone when a dude's good looking dog. No, he got he, he got that. Yourself. You know what? You know what he got. Sue got like that that like Sasuke type hotness. Yeah, you know Sasuke, what I'm saying. I don't know about hotness. But like, usually he's like mysterious. Nah, nah, like, John, like, nah, nah, nah. You can, you can <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but I wouldn't describe, like, I wouldn't use the term hotness to describe Sasuke. Nah, but he's like, he's like brooding and dark, you know. He's like, you know, it's almost like Batman, but like. There's a difference Batman. between hotness and attractive. Because I feel like hotness is purely physical, and there's more things in physical that make someone attractive. You dig? I think, I, I think this is semantics right now. And I think we it should, is. uh, yeah, we should, uh, you know. Episode eleven. <laughs> All right. All right. But, uh, my it. son, my son Suye is like, um, he's like the fuck. He's like Anbu. Nah, he is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, nah. But he's tough though. Like you can tell. Like based off of like the he about that action. Like, yeah, like you can see it. He seems reasonable though, because because in episode yeah. ten, like when when uh, Rimuru offers the the deal, uh, to 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 the prince Benimaru. Um, he's walking into the woods and Suye is just right there, just posted. He was like, he didn't say nothing. He was just like, yo, you should take the deal, B. Like, yeah, that's his boy. That's, I mean, we know that um, Benny Morrow isn't the smartest. 
but he's, he's, he's strong, good. but he's not the star. Yeah, he's, 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 he's a good he leader. Good leadership qualities, but he doesn't have all of the smarts. So yeah. he's one of the ones that you definitely make sure they have a good counsel around. He's not a planner. He's he's got the charisma. Yeah, the charisma. Yeah. Uh, yeah, all right. So yeah, um, fuck with him. Fuck with him heavy. All right. All right. So we episode eleven. Episode yeah. eleven. Gaburu is here. Well, I mean, we skipped, a, we skipped. We skipped. We skipped. A, we skipped a part. Oh, okay. 11. All right. So, like, that. so basically, so he basically is like Rimuru uh, assimilates the got the uh, the ogres into the into the town. So, like, they kind of have jobs and responsibilities too. Like, the old guy uh, is treating not treating. Wow, treating. Mm-hmm. He's he's teaching uh, all the young goblins. You know. How to do, how to how to fight basically swordsmanship word word uh old girl Shion out here being the busty secretary of course hmm. that's a fact protecting this shit yeah my word. son my son I remember was lit he he living a life he, he got he got the joints fighting over him he got them double oh. D just resting on his cranium like geez Louise that's that's a life right there but yeah but no um and then Shuna. Is out here, make you know, helping with the the clothes and things like that. She taught them how to weave silk. Or she out here being a seamstress and whatnot. Crazy. And she also knows mad shit about medicine and herbs, Word. medicine and cooking. That's why. I mean, that was what part of the reason why uh, they they took to her. The goblins took to her mm-hmm. so 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 quickly. Um, but yeah, gob to uh, appearance because he's the goat. Um, he died in the episode. And everybody's chilling, you know, except for, uh, you know, Xion can't cook. Uh, Bro, that shit is so funny. He was oh like, why are they acting like, yo, they both turned and then just, they're not looking at him. They're I was like, confused yeah. too. Like, I was like, I was like, what the hell is going on? The best was he was like, wow, the old dude really erased his whole present. <laughs> <laughs> yo, he disappeared quick. Nah, I <laughs> think it was even. Sip this tea, bro. That's a fact. Nah. And then he made, he made, he made, he really made Gobo to try that joint, and then he died, bro. Like, oh, yo, really, really went, he went, <laughs> yo, Chris Sage went. If you stick the food to 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 your right at an angle, you may live. <laughs> you may. <live. laughs> nah, they be doing my son Gob to dirty. Oh, yo, he is the most disrespectful character in the whole show. But it's only because good. he ain't. Is you know what it is? It's because he ain't get beautiful. That's why. Exactly. It's when he got an eight, he ain't goofy. <laughs> that was a fact. Yo, he's the butters of this show. <laughs> he did got the butters cut. He really got the butters cut too. <laughs> if you think about it. I think they said it later too. They were like, oh, oh, later on, um, the Gabriel says too. He's like, oh, the one with the Dobie face. <laughs> nah, but, but but you know, getting to that. Gaburu was, you know, he was basically pulling all the other goblin towns and was the like, yo, ass goblins. yeah, the regular goblins and bums. Um, and basically he was like, yo, you're going to come fight with us to fight off these orcs. And he's rounding everybody up. And then they get to Rimru's village, pull up like, ah, ah, what's nah, the vibes? Nah. He, with the other villages, he was like, oh, I'm just getting people to join us. And then they talked him up when they went to Rimru. He was like, oh, a slime? They tamed direwolves? What? I'm gonna make them my people. Word. He's feeling bold. <laughs> yep. Rimuru and the squad pulled up like, yo, who is this guy? <laughs> my my son, like, you weaklings my, will serve my... under me. And he went, wait. They don't weaklings. They don't yo, see yo. <laughs> He's like, I don't I don't see any weak people here. Right. It's like my man's over here got the eight pack. My man's out here benching four hundred. Like, where's the weaklings at? <laughs> Bro, my son. And my son Aranga pulled up. My son like, Aranga was not word. <laughs> He's like, yo, who disrespected my slime? He's like, yo, keep that same energy, bro. Like, ain't nobody talking about my master like well, this, all right? He's coming off that. He sucked, yo. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was like, all right, if you can beat Gopta, um, we'll we'll listen to what you have to say. <laughs> and my he's son like, Gopta <laughs> turned up, bro. He, <laughs> he pulled up like, like Rock Lee, bro. He dead pulled up like bro, Rock they Lee. Went, he, he got they, it. Went, <laughs> they went, all right, yo, if you win, you'll get some new, you'll get an, I'll have him forge like a new weapon just for you. He was like, all right, that's cool. And he go, oh, if you lose, you have to eat Shion's cooking again. <laughs> He was super saiyan. <laughs> so, I'm not week. doing that shit. Man. <laughs> nah, you know, but, my son got poison resistance, though. So yeah. I mean, it it like, oh, my God. You lived. He went, he went, no, that's that's what's wild. That's what I'm talking about with the district for Gopta. Like, <laughs> oh, snap. Hey, buddy. What's going on? <laughs> Didn't <laughs> they make it? <laughs> yeah, he's like, hey, even know what's he going so on, wild. guys? What are you doing over here? My son, Benny Maru, he went, you need to decide who Shion's going to cook for. 
And he was like, this is an important job. We can't lose any more people like Gobta. <laughs> so popped up like, hey, just like when they forgot him in the jail. Yo, I'm telling you. Maybe disrespect. Gobta. Gobta's a real one. I should got a nah. Gobta tattoo, dog. But no, no, no funny. The the analogy to uh, or the comparison to Rock Lee, accurate. My man OD, speed. Bro. OD, his bro. speed. No, when he came out the shadow, I was like, yo. Yeah. yeah they had them all reconsidering. He was like, wow, maybe Gopta's like a prodigy. He's really yeah, a problem. That's a, that's a fact. <laughs> Old dude was like, you know what? Maybe he has he has some talent. He's just worth nurturing there. <laughs> well, my son really just went super saiyan, so he didn't have to eat that shit again. <laughs> oh boy. My son was tough. Let's nah, put no, it like that. that. That was that was great. Now nah, the fact that they really thought that he was the strong one and not the slime when they went when the uh, they thought that he was, he was the master. <laughs> they was really trying to say and they was really trying to say anything to justify the fact that yo Gabru is ass. Yo, you really tried to defend this man earlier, Justin. I like his charisma and his spunk. Fuck out of here. Nah. I like he's funny. All right. I like Donald Trump. I like whoa, whoa, whoa. One whoa, of his friends whoa, told him come on, and was man. like, yo, uh, you should run for president. And he was like, you know what? You right. And he got a couple dumbasses cheering him on, making him think he can do everything. Boo. Boo. Mm-mm. I boo you. Boo this man. Listen, um, right now, Gabru is very Trump esque. And he ain't tell he ain't talking about building a wall around the goblin. Oh my god. Just, I just explained how. Nah. I, I just did it. So now everybody that got charisma and got a, and got a crew that hypes him up is, is Donald Trump? Bro, no. You, you missed the point. Forget nah, it. there was no point. <laughs> it is ridiculous. All I'm saying, my son Gabru is whack. He's corny. He, he's uh, corny, but he's but I like I, 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 I find him entertaining. Bad. I find him entertaining. Nah, I feel like, no, no. I feel like, all right, th- they didn't mention him being the best... Uh, at uh what was it the the spear they weren't they wouldn't talk about him being the best at being a spear which i think is true i think he's really about to flex in the next few episodes you believe in gabru i i I, hey it always seemed that the p we all know watching animes like you know sometimes but you know can't judge a book by its cover i don't know i just just just, just, um did a did a coup against his pops and his sister bro that is true. That oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa. Come on. We didn't even get to that part yet. You're right. We still didn't finish episode 11. Because at right. the end, the uh, the dryad, that's what it's called. Oh, right? yes. Yes, the dryad appears. And uh, she wasn't as good looking as I thought. So I'll let you guys uh, handle this. Yeah, that was what Justin was upset the most about on uh, Tuesday. I was. Anyway, mm-hmm. um, so, <laughs> so they're trying to decide what to do about these orcs. Um, They've been theorizing that an orc lord is what um is is happening right now because it we find out that there's two hundred thousand orcs, an army of two hundred thousand, which is way bigger than anyone. The lizard men, um, as I mentioned in episode ten, only have a hundred thousand, and they're like, yo, they have armor, they're organized. The only way you can do this is an orc lord, which is supposed to be some rare ass evolution, one's only born every like hundred years or so that's able to bring them all together and has like this unique skill. So we find out more information about it from the dryad. So the dryads are the like kind of the caretakers of the forest. Like ain't nothing happened in a forest without them knowing. And they're super rare beings. They're like, they're from forest spirits pretty much. Um, and they request an audience with Rimuru and they appear at like the council meeting at the town and they ask Rimuru, to defeat the orc lord so that was a big thing there and then we also find out that it is a real orc lord doing it also that that unique skill the orc lord has is called starvation where pretty much um anyone who follows the orc lord gets this skill as well and it makes them devour anything it's very similar to the predator skill but they're physically eating um and they yeah graphic yeah so they literally eat whatever enemies or comrades or anything and they eat them and they gain the powers from them and the the trade-off is it's an unsatiable appetite and they're basically like kind of zombies so um yeah uh at the end of rimuru ends up accepting the offer and decides that they're gonna join in um and taking down this orc lord because things the way the way it looks like is that the orc lord isn't just gonna stop at one group like they're just gonna go and try and take over everything pretty much and 
to defeat and eat everything in their path. And uh, that that's basically the end of episode 11, right? They, uh, I feel like that kind of happened in 12, honestly. I, th- I thought 12 was the more... No, 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 because that's what... Oh, yeah, no, no, no. That did episode, happen in episode 12 because yeah, no, when... The Dryad when, told them. The Dryad because, was like, I'm confirming it's an Orc Lord, and this is why. And that's why Rimuru was like, yo, if they're going to be nonstop, I need to stop him. All right, so, like, she was introduced at the end of episode 11. But at the beginning of episode 12, that's when she explained, like, all right, yo, this is what the, the skill that, that the Orc Lord has... And then you, it goes more into it. And then, like, Rimuru is, like, considering whether or not he wants to accept the proposal. Okay, and then, I thought he accepted in episode 11. All right. No, no, no. Because nah, nah, she just nah, says, nah, nah, nah. I need you to do this for me. And, gotcha. then, and then the episode ends. Started 12. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. Okay. But, uh, okay. So, all right. So, blah, 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 forget I said that. So, <laughs> Rimuru sends uh, Sui, you know, Ambu Black Ops, to the Lizard Kingdom to go talk to the Chieftain. And be like, yo, talk to Big Boss. We're the big blood. You're like, yo, my guy, uh, we gotta team up. But first, talk let's talk about how uh Sway uh you know pulled up to the crib because they were like, Yo, I sent something. Somebody somebody seeks an audience. Servants in the force. He was like, "Mm, I don't know, is he friend or foe? I don't know, but he got some strong problem. Yeah, pulls up. Yo, yo, Chief, what up? I come from Rimuru's world. You already know what the vibes are. We chilling over there. But yo, I heard you got an orc problem. And we want to help. I think we should team up. And then old Dum Dum in the corner is like, yo, Chief, I don't trust this dude. He don't sit right with me. Son. He's kind of shady, dog. He kind of shady. Was like, Excuse you? Excuse no, me. No, he was like, to yo, this bullshit master or whatever. Someone was like, you don't. He's like, you're not going to talk about my guys like that. You ain't going to. You're not gonna talk Put some about respect. <laughs> oh, man's pulled out with the, the the yo when he had him by the neck, Crazy. son. Disrespectful. <laughs> Disrespectful. Yo, my <laughs> son. Yo, the chief did dead went. Wow, I'm glad he is like. At least I know he's reasonable because if I didn't say stop, it really would have been over. Like Word. it would have been clipped from my guy. Uh, the That's fact that the asked. chieftain was like, "Yo, I'm sorry for my for my people's like ignorance." He was apologizing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, that's that's loyalty right there, though. Like, real life, he was really about to kill somebody for Rimuru. He knew Rimuru for like Good a respect, week, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's crazy. yo, g- naming someone that's a big deal, and that's also yeah, that's, why yeah, yeah, yeah. that's why the dire wolf uh is loyal to him because that's what Rimuru asked him way back when. He was like, Yo, I killed your pops, like, why are you, yeah, why, why are you cool Do to you me? Have any like, animosity and shit. It, it was like, I think about it, but I mean, you. You spared me, and you named me, and yeah, my crew. Yeah. Nah, he was like, you it. spared us. You named me. Um, his dad wasn't the best leader. Like his dad, then probably also, looking up from hell right now, sick as fuck. Od, like, you know. <laughs> and also, um, we find out a little bit more about the naming. Um, and on first episode of episode eleven, where we find out that Geld came, and we kind of get this idea that Lord Gelmond is just out here. Just uh trying to to raise cause a ruckus, just giving out names, hoping that these monsters will, will listen to him whenever they call on him. Um, Gabriel got his name, and then he went to the ogre village and tried to do that, and that's why um they they think that that's why the orcs took him out. That might be the only reason why they came back, because um Benomaru said no, and he was like, I'm not just gonna take a name from anybody. They gotta be that's worthy. Okay. To give me a name, but yeah, so Sue was out here letting his nuts hang. <laughs> nah, he really did. And then nonsense. And he told him he was like, "Yo, he sent sent him with an important message. Yo, we're gonna recounsel in seven days. Until then, don't mess with the orcs. Don't attack them. Don't do nothing. You can defend your land. Don't go on the offensive." Stay right here. Stay right here. We'll be back in seven days. We're gonna come back and we're gonna do this. All right. Just be cool for seven days. Y'all can hold out. And Chief was like, "All right, but we will be chilling. We'll just, no problem. We just gonna, problem. Right. We're gonna no train. <laughs> we're gonna train. We're gonna you know watch some TV a little bit. You know maybe play some pinball. But yeah, I got you. We'll pinball. see y'all. Uh, and then what happens? The charismatic fool." Gabru, that's your boy, right? He's my boy to the extent he's he's my boy to the extent that I find him entertaining. Oh no, uh, I do not agree with his political beliefs. <laughs> um, 
So oh my god! Oh Trump. my god! Maybe he is Trump. Jesus See? Christ! <laughs> <laughs> See? Lord Jesus! <laughs> and as precursor, I do not like anything about Trump in real life. Uh, no, I do not find him charismatic. Uh, President Cheeto Puff can uh, go to hell. Anyway, um, <laughs> Gabru comes through and was like, "Yo, we're taking over the prison, like in Boondocks." Like, I'm doing a coup. <laughs> we out here. Like, I want yeah. bitches. Asian bitches, <laughs> white bitches, bitches. Bitch. we want all the bitches, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey yo, shout out to the moon night. But they was like, "Yeah, we coming through." And the dad and chief was like, "Yo, son, what the hell is going on here? I sent you she out here like, to recruit. With you? I sent you out there to recruit people for the army, and you out here coming back with your army to take. First over of all, you only got seven thousand people. Word. Yeah, like, he, ain't got a lie. he ain't got nobody." We find out that old girl is his sister. That's pre- that's like the the head captain of of the guard. She the real she the real brains of the family. Was like wow, this she's the one who's crazy. out here that the father trusts and fucking. Mm-hmm. Gabamaru that's that's got exactly name. why she's so, the head of the guard. And, and exactly, and Gabamaru yeah. got a name and thinks he's hot shit, and that's why Lord Gale is out here just causing a ruckus. And that's the yeah. thing. Like, what's that's, that's, I think that's going to be an interesting play, or not play, but uh, interesting tidbit. Uh, Gelmud named. One of the goblins, and he named Gabaru. And tried, he named the Orc Lord, and he tried to name the Ogres. One of those. Wasn't the, the person he named, wasn't he the Orc Lord that, I, I, that, was, that died in the, uh, the desert? Wasn't that who he turned into the Orc Lord? Yeah. But yeah, he didn't that's die. Geld. That's yeah. Geld. Yeah, no, he yeah. Just turned into the, the, the Orc Lord. Yeah, okay, that's what yeah. I'm saying. So Gelman named the Orc Lord. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think that, that's going to be interesting. Like, can you, can, somebody has to accept the name, though, right? You can't just be going around just naming something. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you have to accept that joint. Got you, got you, got it's you. It's like yeah. a friend request. <laughs> so how do they, like, so how do they talk to each other, like, in this world? They just mm-hmm. use, like, they just kind of know or use titles or whatever. That's what he's saying. It's chieftain. It's like father, daughter, sister, brother, son. But, like, if I wanted to talk to, like, Miles, Miles doesn't have a name. Hey, you. <laughs> <laughs> like that's, that's that's the only thing I find interesting about this yeah. world. Well, it, it's only monsters though, so it's, it's it is interesting with that and the whole naming thing. Um, it's really interesting. And the first time I, I watched it, I remember trying to learn a little bit more about it, and I feel like I'm picking up on it now that we're going through the second time a bit more. I'm understanding it a little bit better. But um, also what we we like kind of mentioned a bit earlier, but was um before Gabru decided to go all gung ho and you know have a whole military coup. Um, he when he woke up from being knocked out by my son Gapta, there was a dude there who was with his cronies. I'm gonna call them cronies because they ain't shit. Um, <laughs> cronies. It it was there this dude go. Laplace, and he had a mask on as well, and he said that he served Gelman. So it seemed like he either actually does serve Gelman, or. He just might be out here like, yeah, yeah, no, nah, I know Gelman, yeah, we cool or whatever, but I'm going to just use his name because I know I can get you to do whatever I say because I'm a Majin. I have a mask. Gelman had a mask. If I say he sent me, you know, you're going to listen to whatever he got to say because he's the only reason he got a name. And people put some respect on it. So it was him kind of going, yeah, you know, the, your, your father's getting old. He has these antiquated ways. You should just go do it. So to me, I feel like it ties in with like what really Gelman could be. And just, you know, seems that he's just trying to, to cause a ruckus because he's I'm gonna keep saying it, too, because he's out here to be like, yo, go take over, take over the chieftain. Go, go do what you want. You know, go. Cool. That's your that's your land, dog. Yo, I don't know why, but I got mad, uh, you know, um, dang, what's the dude in um, the other anime we watched? Uh, dang, why am I blanking on it? The first one. Beetlejuice. Yeah, Beetlejuice. Yeah, I don't know why, but I got mad Beetlejuice vibes from this dude. From Gelman, the the dude that pulled up with the uh, oh Laplace the mask. Yeah, Laplace. I don't uh, know why they just they just weirdos to me. That's probably I, why. I can understand being a weirdo, but Be- Beetlejuice is on. on Not show. like yeah, it was, it was just like the weird, like the weird dude. Yo, they were literally like he was like, yo, who the hell is that? And they were like, yo, he's he's been here the whole time. <laughs> he's literally been here this whole time, just sitting watching with us, hosting up. I'm waiting for you to wake up, it's a dumbass. Get a knocked out, but they were like, "Yo, the one with the dopey face this is the real one." Like, are you sure? Okay, I got the real one, bro. Plus, rumor went, "I don't even have poison resistance." Got about to pull the baddest bitch in the whole village. Watch, 
gonna happen. Yeah, he probably he probably will. She gonna have big ass titty too. Watch, busty as hell. See, that's what Miles said. I, you know, I'm glad he said it, so I didn't have to be the only one that be saying it. <laughs> God, there are adults. All right, those goggles are adults. <laughs> she on is an adult. <laughs> that's, what, it. that's what the name of this shit's gonna be. Tickets to Lollicon. Hey yo, crazy! I'm done. <laughs> Tickets to Lollicon, episode eighteen, part I, two. I don't like any of this, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, but uh, yeah, I think it's gonna. I mean, they attacked. You know, Gabru and his crew attacked. They thought they had a good plan, and then they figured out, oh my god, what are they doing? They're they eating their crew. crew. Yeah, and woo, buddy. <laughs> yeah, because Gabru, Gabru, dumbass, didn't know he was getting himself into. He just thought that, yo, yeah, we gonna big. fuck these niggas up and we gonna fuck these niggas up, not knowing that, oh, they have this special skill. Mm-hmm. Cold That's Star is. Asian. Out here, out here, he think he big man. Yeah. <sighs> Crazy. I wonder if there's a way. Like, I feel like when you fight these guys, would you probably just, like, burn the bodies? Like, almost like uh, like zombies or something like that? Or just, like, or infected people? So that they can't eat, eat them. Yeah, hmm. like put like a spe- like put them in like a pile and put like a spell or something around. I think so, like, you, I think you just got to put all your resources in taking out the orc lord, basically. Yeah, because one because he's the only one that can really organize them yeah. with his like telepathic stuff, and and they only have it because of him. So oink oink oink. Like just how um when he gave Ranga a name, everyone else leveled up in the pack. My son Rango was really about to kill him and went, God, the good timing. <laughs> nah, that was nah, they was all like they was all shocked. He was like, dang, Rango's mad calm right now. Yeah. Like, what is it? <laughs> Yo, Rango would have destroyed him. Yo, <laughs> and then he was like, Oh, you put God to there because you knew if you fought him, you would have just killed him. <laughs> yeah, pretty <laughs> so, much. <laughs> you know, that was like when um when Gabru first disrespected Rimuru and then they had the mad happy animation, and Betty Mart was like, Can I kill him now? And he was like, Sure. He was like, Wait, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I love those in in in, in anime. Oh, they're so good. <laughs> like happy animations. Uh, <laughs> happy while they say some wild shit. Word, like, hey, can I destroy this village? Sure, go for it. <laughs> 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 Wait, what? I was just kidding. Sarcasm. Thanks. But yeah, it, you know, you know the vibes. It's lit. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be good. I, I I look forward to the next uh, three episodes. What do you yeah, guys think's gonna uh, gonna happen? Bro, <laughs> Rimuru was gonna pull up and be like, "Didn't I tell you guys to wait seven days? Damn it! <laughs> like, I told Honestly, y'all." Yeah, Rimuru was gonna find a way to come through and beat somebody ass, and that's what's gonna be that. <laughs> that's 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 my prediction. Rimuru is gonna beat somebody's ass. Like I told y'all, I gave you the plan, <laughs> and what did you do? Nobody you better. didn't follow it. That's a fact. Now I now I gotta now I gotta beat y'all up. Because y'all not doing what you're supposed to do. Oh, man. It's going to be good. It's going to yeah, be good. I'm... And then I'm still waiting on old boy to pull up or the his the person he sent to go spy, the king from the dwarf land. I'm still waiting on what his play is and the humans and what their role in this whole thing is. Interesting. As a fact, they definitely was in the cut. Well, yeah, I'm glad you guys have been enjoying this. It's been good. I'm excited for the um the shit that I haven't watched yet either. So our next two ones. Um, but there is some some other shit. I'm, I just want to put y'all on too. Like, I'm I, I'm watching mad shit. I watch a lot of good shit, man. It was fun. Yeah, I, I give you credit for this. This is a lit ass anime. Shout out to uh to Devon for convincing me to actually watch it. Shout out them peoples. All right, um, listen, listen, y'all, just get through the first episode. Pretty it. much, seriously. Yeah, I mean, and. I know Miles hasn't heard it yet, but when you hear the intro of um the <laughs> of part one of this episode of the podcast, uh yeah, I mean that's how that's how we got JT back into it. I'm scared because uh I forgot what what I said on you Tuesday. Said? It was nothing too wild. Yeah, but that that can mean anything for me, honestly, at this point. <laughs> I, I don't just you you I don't lolly. I don't trust God. myself. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, um, yo, if you guys haven't listened to part one, um, go check that out. It's me and JT talking about the regular sports topics that happened in the past week. Um, thank you for listening over here to part two for those people following along. 
even if you're not, if you haven't watched it, just I hope this shit sounds interesting. You go watch that shit. And uh, pay attention to our picks. Uh, you know, regular season's coming down. And uh, listen, the race is getting tighter. So, uh, yeah, make some picks. Make some money off them shits. Watch we tie. That'd be some shit. Nah, but, and it's oh not going to happen. That would, bruh. Um, hopefully, scheduling won't be like last time we can everything out. Um, but yeah, follow us, Star Toby Sports everywhere. Um, I mean, me and same shit. JT got his Twitters. I got mine. Miles is not on social media, so stop replying to his fucking Instagram stories. Yep. And if you got a problem with that, you can catch John outside the bank. <laughs> Big <Woo-woo>. trust. <laughs> <Woo-woo>. <laughs> First off, yo. Justin Tucker the goat. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I'm crying. <laughs> Big <Yo>. trust. Trust. <laughs> it's like I, I should I should stand up here and say something motivational like trust. <laughs> yeah, yo. Anyways, man. Just one last thing on my end. Um, I know most of y'all don't care. Most of y'all don't even listen to this, man. Most of y'all might not even know who he is. But yo, real life, shout out to my boy, Mike Francesa. You know, he had a great career. Yeah, I got I got to, bro. You know the fart shit. It's all good, <laughs> the fart bro. shit ended him, bro. I'm about to say, man, but you know what? At the end of the day, bro, he had a great career. I've been listening to my man since him and him and Doug been on there, man. And all all those long car rides in my in the car with my dad. Like, yo, so much childhood memories and thank you, bro, for doing your thing for so, such a long time, man. Real recognized, real first time, long time, man. <laughs> Yo, are we gonna have to retire the the nickname for you? We might have to, bro. We gonna have to. We gonna have to find something else for me now because oh, he's man. Fr- not because Friday's his last day. Friday's his last. His like last for real bro. this time. We yeah, about for to real. Do a Brett Favre. Yeah, 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 no, 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 no. You know, having that he... app not hidden, bro. That app not hidden. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. Honestly, I think he's done, done now. Oh nah, man, shit. Like, like he, he, like he can't. Re- unretire again bro because the first time he retired like they made such a big deal out of it and now he's retiring again he's like nah i don't want the all poop. of that like not nah, just you know <laughs> the poop <laughs> r.i.p mike francesa <laughs> he not dead he just not here no more and on that note <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk to y'all next week one more thing guys i know we forgot to explicitly uh mention it but for next week for Anime Book Club, just watch the next three episodes. So it's going to be 13 through 15. And yeah, we'll see you guys next week. I got ice in my veins. Walk like a champion, champion, champion. I'm so cold blooded. I fear nobody. Ain't no letting down. I won't let you down. Cause I got ice in my veins. I talk like a champion, like a champion. I'm so cold blooded. I'm so cold.